Can't wait to see you guys. By the way, we hope you are sanitizing. We hope you are resting. We hope that you are you, you are safe. You are showering. <laughs> Very important. Um, yeah. And today we are going to to have a, a conversation. No, not it's not a teaching. It's a conversation. Uh, so we're going to be talking about emotions today and um, getting real with our emotions. You know, we are human beings. Um, we have emotions, different emotions. So we're going to see how one one character in the Bible uh, dealt with his emotions. Um, and this is a very interesting character that we'll be telling you about later on. But for now, um, we, have, we have this. These are emojis, right? Um, if you have a techno phone, uh, your emojis are different from guys like us who have iPhones. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, Cookie. Yes. Uh, so, um, <laughs> which emoji would you use if you wrecked your dad's car? This one, because you know, my dad probably loves his car uh, as much or slightly more than he loves me. So, <laughs> ah, okay, and right. you, mm, what would you do? Which emoji would you use if your girlfriend broke up with you? Uh, well, I'd, I'd be surprised. This one, eh. ah, no, I'd be surprised and disappointed because you know, who would break up with me? Look at me, <laughs> even your hair left you. <laughs> But it's okay. Anyway, moving on, moving on. <laughs> so we're going to be talking about uh, emotions, now to deal with, the, with our emotions. And uh, the interesting character I told you about is... Jesus. Yeah, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who came to die for our sins. But uh, it's important to understand that Jesus was 100% human and 100% man. man. So he also experienced God. emotions. Oh, yeah, 100% <laughs> human and 100 Percent God. God, yeah. So he also experienced human emotions, you know? mm -hmm. So I remember this, this one time he went to the temple and guys had turned the temple into a marketplace and he was pissed and yeah. tables... He turned. Tables turned. <laughs> <laughs> and it, yeah, so... He also cried. He wept when Lazarus died. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, we're, going to, we're going to look at some of the emotions that Jesus faced and how he dealt with them. Um, and how we, are we supposed to deal with our emotions as, as human beings and as young people, you know? Yeah. So, um, so, hmm. you know, it's interesting because uh, when Jesus was facing this, uh, when, when, when uh, during the Last Supper, before he was betrayed, uh, before, before he was crucified, rather, uh, he shared the table with his disciples, you know, and he shared his fears not really his fears. He he told the disciples, one of you is going to betray me. And, he said, and, and then the disciples, oh, yeah, no, 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 not me, not me, not me. And that night when he went out to pray again, uh, which you'll be you'll be talking about later on, he, 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 he prayed to God and he was, I don't know, he was emotional, right? Yeah. So it's, it's important for us to have friends that we can share emo our emotions with. Uh, don't just, don't, don't, don't bolt them in, you know, like share. Um, Africans say, is it Africans or everyone says that a uh, uh, problem half shared is a problem, half <laughs> solved. <laughs> yeah. Problem shared is a problem half okay. solved. Yeah, yeah. And in Matthew chapter 26, verse 39. So, um, we want to talk about when Jesus was praying, what we observe about how Jesus prayed. And in verse, so it's verse 39, 42 and 44. Mm. In verse 39, is going a little further, he fell with his face to the ground and prayed, My father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me, yet not as I as I will, but as you will. So, how Jesus prayed here, he humbled himself, because if you fall before someone, in you know, Nyesha, like, their power is too much mm -hmm. that Wezi stand before them. Mm -hmm. And you know, most times when we're talking, this is Jesus talking to his father. Mm -hmm. Most times when we're talking to our parents, Nizi Lezama, eh, Mam cheki, nitaka kufanya hivi na hivi, you know, yeah. usho mamako, eh, misi hizi enda soko, kuna corona tao. But you see, eh, nini, Jesus, when he was talking to God, he was pleading and humbling himself before God, which is different from mm -hmm. how we pray most times. Mm -hmm. 
Oh yeah, and then in, in, in 42, in verse 42, it says, again, a second time, he went away and prayed saying, oh my father, if this cup cannot pass away from me unless I drink it, your will be done. You know, I, I, I mean, that's an amazing prayer. You know, if it's not going to happen, it's, okay, it's still okay. Yeah, and, and what do you, why, why, why do you think it's hard for us to express our emotions to God? Like, I think sometimes me wongalia, if mm -hmm. I tell God that I'm doing a certain thing, like, na feel ashamed most times, like, ni sana sure je God nilifanye evo. For example, mm -hmm. if, if I did drugs and I want to get over it, nitaka kwambia God, God, I did, I drank alcohol and I don't want to. But unwana, like, hey, how do I even start? And, you know, those this time, mm -hmm. some, my friend of, a friend of ours in school, ali post some article, kwa mm -hmm. notice body, kwa inasema, God knows all those things. So when you're ashamed of telling him, mm -hmm. it's not that he doesn't know, but he wants you to talk to him. Mm -hmm. So ali kwa like, God created, God knows all these emotions and knows when you feel them, so you should be able to talk to him without feeling ashamed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing too big for him, you know. Like, mm -hmm. he, he knows you. Sometimes I feel like we, we try to, we try to hide. Uh, there was a story to quote uh, on A father gave, gave uh, two of their, two of his sons, um, I don't remember what it was, but something, and told them, end of feature mali, akuna mtu anezaona. You know, the first son akenda ka deep in the forest, then he dug, 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 akai feature, and then akenda kambebe, akenda me feature. The second son aka, akaenda, aka tafta kila, please, akupata. Akarubia kambebe, akenda mini mekosa. Mbona? There are so many places, I can be every, everyone ilikuwa naenda, God you know, God niona. So I think God 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 is is a good God. You know, He He understands us. Uh, he made us. Like He knows us. So there's there's no point of us uh hiding our emotions from Him. Uh, actually we are supposed to we are supposed to tell him how we are feeling, how we are really feeling. I don't know about you, but there are times when you you, you want to pray and you can't pray. Like you just break down and start crying, you know. Uh, you're like God. Hi. <laughs> I don't know. What you, you know, it it happens, and and God God loves a broken heart, and ana ana kushika vizuri, and yeah, he's a good God. Mm. Mm. Also, why do you think that we shouldn't make decisions based solely on our feelings about something? Aki kuku na question kaiyo. Siari. Really? Why do you think mob justice is wrong? Now one of the answers is because it's out of. Your raw emotions mm -hmm. you connect at that moment. Mm. I think we may answer because then, um, so if if you if you actually take time to 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 analyze the situation, then you'll be able to make to, to make um, a sane decision. Mm. You know, as opposed to like making impromptu uh, decisions, hapo hapo kujam, unapigana and and all and all that. You know, so yeah. Mm, yeah. Because sometimes our emotions at that moment, utafikiria this is the best thing to do. Mm -hmm. Like mi kumtusi, mi kumwandikia message rifu kumambia, oh, yeah. ama mi kumcall out, mi kumsengenya, it's the right thing at that moment, but it's because you're angry. Mm -hmm. But when you go think about it, you're like, anyway, I didn't have to do this, I didn't have to say it. And by the time you're thinking about it, you've taken time to sit down and think and analyze, mm -hmm. you've already da said something yeah. that can someone can never forget, which is scary so like friends ongol kwa semanga shule ati sasa msia kijam na msho ati enda enda ngoma nishi sai time bado mm. emotions ni moto so you look to a way of chochaing but it was wrong because in the end you don't really mean the words that you say at that moment because mm -hmm. sometimes our emotions drive us to say things that we would have never said to hurt someone or anything yeah. mm. and, and that makes sense but what if our emotions uh, tell us something different from what god is telling us because like, you know, we are human beings, mm -hmm. and and God is telling us something else, and our emotions are telling us some, something else. I feel like it's always best to go with what God is saying, because mm -hmm. God can never be wrong. And you know, but you know, sasingine una shanga ni mimi na jiambia ama ni mungu anongea. But like when you go back to the Bible and you read all these things, mm -hmm. you're like, okay, this is what God is saying. And like we said before, Jesus felt all these emotions. Mm -hmm that we feel right now. Yeah. And he's he's put things in the Bible that teach us from how how we should love, how we should not hate, how we should not be jealous. Yeah. So when we go back to our Bibles and read and find what God is saying, mm. I think that's the best decision than following emotion, our emotions, which can be, you know, biased when you're just driven by emotion. 
Ah, okay. Uh, so, I think, guys, so what we've learned from, from this study is, rather this, this conversation is, even Jesus had emotions and he dealt with his emotions um, in a godly way, Sindio. Because mm -hmm. uh, if, if, if Jesus was, knew that he was going to be crucified and he didn't overreact, he didn't, he went, he said he went and prayed, you know. Mimi mm Ningejua, -hmm. today is my last day, I don't know. I would go and make amends with everyone. But, <laughs> but Jesus knew that it was his, it was actually, and something else, something, something else interesting. Jesus knew that he had little time to live and instead of kupotea, he he decide, he still wanted to serve. Like before that, he washed the disciples' feet, you know, and 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 all that. So our emotions should not should not cloud our judgment. Uh, we we should we should not just make decisions because we are we are angry or and let let us be careful not to hurt each other, you know. Um, yeah, and as always, ask yourself what would Jesus do, and the answer is there. Mm. He prayed. Yeah. Take time to think about things before you yeah, and, and pray about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was it from us. Thank you so much. We love you. We can't wait to see you. Please make sure you sanitize. Shower. Aki. Shower. But we're group yangu mostly. Shower. Group four. Na group four. Please shower. We love you. Uh, God bless you. And bye. In my new way. In my new